What's up, Brick Dudes and Brickettes? Brickman USA back here, and it's September 1st, so it's release day. You know, I had to head to my local store to pick up some new sets. I unfortunately couldn't make it to my local Lego store today, but my local Shields has a great Lego selection, as you can see. They have a lot of sets I can't find at my local Target or Walmart, and they had the new Marvel minifigs I was looking for. They had everything I needed on today's release day. I got to the store right when they opened, and they were still putting out the new releases for today and moving some stuff around. The dream section was fully stocked and looks awesome. I still need to pick up some of these sets, and I really did like the show. They even had the new Disney camera here, but unfortunately none of the Peter Pan sets. It was pretty cool to get there early enough to see all the workers still going through all the boxes and putting up all the new stuff. I literally got to take my gunship straight out of the box. Another reason why I really like this store is because they have the really big UCS sets. The main reason why I was so excited for September 1st was the new Star Wars sets. I couldn't find any of the new sets early at my local Kohl's, but I'm very excited to see them here today. All the sets look great, and I'm really excited to get my hands on the Ahsoka sets. As you can see, the Star Wars section is pretty full of all the most recent LEGO Star Wars sets. Got the goods, time to get home and start building. Today I just got the Coruscant Guard Gunship and Ahsoka's T6 Jedi Shuttle and the set I just wanted to speed build up real quick is the T6 Jedi Shuttle. I know reviews for this set have already been overdone by everyone and their mom, but this isn't really a review. I just wanted to give some points about why I don't like this set and why I do like this set. The first reason why I don't like this set is the price tag. For $80, it is a lot, but a little hack I have for you guys, if you have a Costco membership, head there now and pick up this set day one for $64.99. How awesome. One thing that I do love about this set, and I think that everyone loves about this set, obviously are those minifigs. The minifigs are just so awesome, and I'm not really going to go close up into them in this video because that has already been overdone. This is just going to be like a little speed build. My second problem with this set is just the size of the interior. Compared to the size of the interior in the show, it is just so cramped and small. I just wish LEGO could have expanded it for the $80 price tag just a little bit. The second thing I do like about this set though is overall the set is generally pretty accurate to what we see in the show by the design of the ship, what I mean on the box art. I do love the design of this ship and how it works as a Lego set. Overall, I don't think this set is a terrible set. I do think it is just $15 overpriced. If it was $64.99 to begin with, I think it would have been a way better deal. For the $80 price tag, I just wish we would have got more of a girthy build or maybe more of a little bit expanded interior. The Indiana Jones set I put next to the t shirt Shuttle is half the price and has one more piece and the same amount of minifigs. I get the T6 shuttle uses bigger pieces than the Indiana Jones set, but that just seems a little bit fishy to me, Lego. Come on now. Overall, if you are enjoying the brand new Ahsoka show, I do recommend this set for you, but maybe wait to get it at Costco or on discount. Thank you so much if you made it to the end of the video, and make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Make sure to drop me a follow on Instagram to keep updated on everything. Got a lot more content coming soon. Have a great weekend, and Brickman, oh!